extension. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a green salad. When we're in the kitchen and going to prepare foods, the first thing we should do is wash our hands. So you will need running warm water and soap. And we should scrub for at least 20 seconds. Being careful to get in between our fingers, the backs of our hands, even up to our wrists. It might be helpful to sing the ABCs a couple times, or twinkle, twinkle, little star. You also want to make sure that your kitchen area is clean. So it's helpful to get a sink full of warm, soapy water, a clean dishcloth, and wash all the area countertops off. Now for our green salad, you can use any kind of lettuce you prefer. You can use iceberg or head lettuce. You can use a red leaf or a green leaf lettuce. Today we are going to work with a type of lettuce called romaine. Romaine lettuce is a type of lettuce that's used in Caesar salads, but we can use other kinds of salad dressings as well. Now even though this lettuce may look clean, it's still very important that we rinse this under running cold water before we work with any vegetable. In our salad, we're also going to use tomato and cucumber, but you could put, pick whatever your favorites are. So I am going to use my strainer or colander, and I'm going to twist off the usable leaves and discard this in my garden. I'm going to be sure that each lettuce leaf gets cleaned. Rotating it. And the lettuce should be dried because it's really wet. And so there's a couple different ways that we can do that. One is you can place it in some kind of a container with paper towels after we let it drain for a while until uh, the liquid is absorbed into the paper towel. Or you can use a fun kitchen equipment called a salad spinner. Some of you have maybe never seen this before, and I'm going to show you how it works. You put the clean lettuce leaves inside on the top and you pop it. This is really handy if you're growing fresh lettuce leaves in the garden. And it will spin and all the extra moisture will be pushed to the bottom. I'll let it slow down. And while we're waiting for that, I will go ahead and rinse our cucumber and our tomato. These two need to be under running cold water. These are both coated with a wax, which can help prevent them from getting mold. It can help them keep longer, but we still need to rinse them. Now, when we work with greens, it's not a bad idea to hand tear it so it does not become discolored or rusty. When we use a knife, this can react and cause a chemical reaction that will make the lettuce turn brown quickly. If we're going to eat the lettuce right away, we can do that, but if not, it's not a bad idea to hand tear the greens with your clean hands. Around the edges, I see some um, darker colored parts. We can just tear off and discard the part that we don't want to use for our salad. So I'm going to take the freshly rinsed greens and to hand tear, we can just simply tear like this. Or if we want to work quicker, we can use, carefully use, a knife with the supervision of an adult. Now the romaine lettuce may have tougher stems down here 
or even discolored stems, and I would recommend not using that portion because that's very tough. So don't be scared to throw the parts that are not very edible or don't throw these nice away. Grabbing the rest of our leaves and keeping my left hand clear from the blade and making sure that people around me are nowhere near me as well to be safe. When I'm done using a knife, I should put it down on the counter to keep it away from everyone. I'm going to add my greens to the bowl. Some people may want to put them into individual plates or bowls right away. But for today, we're going to demonstrate just making a small green salad. Okay, now I'm going to grab my cucumber. You can eat the outside of the cucumber. Remember when you're eating pickles, you're eating the outside. But some people may find them tough or bitter. So I am going to show how we can peel the outside of the cucumber. Grabbing my garbage bowl. Grabbing firmly to the washed cucumber. I can put the flat side of the peeler to carefully peel the skin away. I'm going to rotate and do the other side, noticing that I'm peeling outward and away from myself. If you're working with whole carrots, that would be something else that we use a peeler. If you have baby carrots, you have no need for this tool. Okay, here's my cucumber. I have to cut the end off. So I'm going to cut and discard the end. Now this is round shaped, and it's going to be difficult to chop or cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually slice the cucumber in half, and then I'm going to place the flat side down on the cutting board, making it easier for me to chop the cucumber safely. I then am going to cut it into separate pieces. So then when I turn it around, I can make a nice chopped bite-sized pieces like that. And I can sprinkle the chopped cucumber on top. I won't demonstrate the other half, but I would probably put the other half of the cucumber in here if I was going to make this salad. Next is the tomato. Make sure you peel the sticker off. You can use cherry tomatoes, grape tomatoes, simply by just rinsing them. But this is an off-the-vine tomato where we need to cut the end off. Again, I'm going to place flat side down. I'm going to slice the tomato. I'm going to take and pivot this to get the flat side down and slice the other direction. The more you work with knives, the more comfortable you get. Go slow when you're starting. When you use a knife for tomatoes, it should have a little bit of the serration ends. That can help cut through the tomato. So you wouldn't want a flat surface blade. The serrated end would help. I'm going to go ahead and do the other part of the tomato. If you don't like tomatoes, even though they're very healthy for us, adding lycopene, we can have red peppers. Tomatoes are a pretty common vegetable to add to lettuce salads. Go ahead and place the tomato on top. And there we have it. Half of our plates and what we each need, fruits and vegetables, a lettuce salad would be a nice way to get greens at lunchtime or supper. You can use tongs to serve your salad before your meal. You can use your favorite salad dressing, whether that be a vinaigrette, ranch, light ranch. So this is how to make a green salad. Thanks and see you next time.
My name is Trisha Jessen with NDSU Extension, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to make fruit kebabs. First, when we're working in the kitchen, it's not a bad idea to tie your hair back. Also, we should wash our hands with hand soap, or you could use a dish soap and running water. It takes a good 20 seconds of hand washing to wash away all the dirt. And we also want to make sure and clean our kitchen countertops using warm water, dish soap, and a dishcloth. You can follow along with your fruit kebab recipe and you can choose your favorite fruits, which is kind of fun. And today we're going to do red, white, and blue ones using strawberries. The white is going to be our banana. And we have the purplish grapes. We also have to make sure that those are kept cold before we use them. And I would suggest washing the strawberries right before you arrange the kebabs. Otherwise, the strawberries could get rather slimy and we want them to be nice and fresh. So I'm going to take and rinse a few of the strawberries under cold running water. Making sure to get underneath the stem with all of the dirt and particles off. We don't use soap or bleach when we rinse fruits and vegetables. And then I will place these into a bowl to set aside. I'm also going to wash the banana. And this can seem kind of silly, but when we touch the banana peel, it can also spread the germs to our hands. So I'm going to rinse the banana under the water. And finally, the grapes. It would be nice to find nice large grapes so they can fit on the kebab without falling apart. Give them a nice rinse. Tons of vitamin C, which can help cuts and bruises heal. 
They also give us fiber, which we've heard healthy jobs that that does. And so we are going to make these colorful kebabs now. I am going to start with my strawberry. Careful not to poke my fingers. I'm gonna next go to the white banana, the purple grape, When I've made these at home before, I'll sometimes put cheese in between them, so then I have some dairy in there too, and it gives a nice variety. If you find your strawberry pieces are too large, don't be scared to cut them one more time. There we have it, our first fruit kebab. We can put this on a plate or a platter if we're not going to eat it right away. We can also store them in a gallon Ziploc baggie. I don't have any of those with me right now, but I could use saran wrap to wrap these around because we need to be careful and store cut up fruits and vegetables in the fridge within two hours for safety. Have fun making your fruit kebabs. See you next time.